in this playwright tutorial we are going to see record at cursor feature so what does this means right say for example we have the automation test already written and you want to add some validation in between the test and that code can be generated by using the playwright record at cursor feature so let me go to the web page uh, this particular scenario what we have recorded in the previous playwright tutorial so we navigated it navigated to this particular url and then we clicked on the sign in link and here we have entered some data over here and and then we are click, clicking on the sign in button right so here if you want to perform some other actions for example in our case what we are going to do is so we will verify this particular button is displayed or not and then we are going to click on the, this particular button so visibility of this button button we, we haven't checked it or we haven't written that particular set of code right so we will insert this particular visibility of this particular sign in button code in the already existing playwright automation test right so let's navigate to the vs code now and here i will go to the file so already just now i have tried it so let me delete this particular file so what i am doing is simply i will copy the record test.spec.js file and i will paste it inside the tests folder then i will rename the file name as record at cursor test.spec.js so that's it guys so if you look at this particular code also automation test in the line number four we are navigating to the navigating to the url we are clicking on the link and we are entering the username and then password here in the line number nine and after the line number nine so directly we are clicking on the sign in button right here if you look at the line number 10 so we are clicking on the sign in button directly so what we are doing we are going to do is by using the record at cursor feature by using that feature we are going to insert the code after the line number nine so we will check the visibility of this sign in button so in the real time project you can insert a number of, you might be having a scenarios where you want to uh, add a specific scenario code or you, where you want to generate set of codes also so in my case i'm ge generating only one line of code after the line number nine here so what you need to do is simply you can go to the testing grid and here you can come down and on the left side down you can see the multiple features over here and you need to check the show browser checkbox and you need to click on the record at cursor and if you see it so it will brings up the browser code gen and here we have to enter the url so let's enter the url so before you enter the url what you need to do is simply you need to stop the recording so you need to click on this particular record so recording will be disabled and here i'm entering the url so it is all about what does the record at cursor means is that inserting the set of lines or set of code generation will be done in between the automation test at a nutshell so we navigated to this url and click on sign in so let's enter some data over here and then that's it guys now what you need to do is again you can go back to the vs code and now once again click on the record at cursor so i will open the same browser where we have navigated by using the github page and if you see here on the top side so we got the set of features enabled by the playwright so i will go to the vs code and if you see here so i will place my cursor after the line number nine because we want to validate this particular sign in button is visible or not so i want to insert the visibility of the element code after the line number nine so that's the reason my cursor is here in the line number 10 now now i will come back to the browser and here so i will select the assert visibility option then we need to click on the 
element so which element you want to check the visibility so in our case we want to verify the visibility of the sign in button click on sign in and i will come back to the vs code and if you see here in the line number 10 the code is got generated if you see here so after the element at the end you can see that to be visible if it is visible then only it is going to click on that particular sign in button right so this is it guys so you can generate n number of lines code by using the playwright record at cursor feature then simply i will close the browser that's it guys now let's run this particular test so i will go back to the record at cursor test.spec file and here i will click on run test and it should work fine as of now because all the code is working fine in our case because we do not have the code which is actually breaking the things that's it guys if you look at here so our test is getting passed here you can see that check mark and also here also you can see that one test is passed so let me close it once again and also we can run it once again and see the test results so results will be very stable because the functionality is working fine here and also the web page is constant and if you see the output over here so our test is getting passed right now what i will do is so here i will pass the incorrect role data for example i will pass something else and this time what it does is in the line number 10 it is unable to identify the element so this element is not visible over here so let's say here instead of sign in i will pass the some other data right so sign in button will be not visible and our test will get fail so let's uh, see the output of the automation test and if you see here so our, our test is still running and also you can see the so our test is getting failed in the line number 10 right it is not able to look at that particular element so let me rerun it once again so it has executed in the open browser because we have checked the show browser option so now i have closed the closed the browser let's run it once again and it will get failed in the line number 10 because element is not visible then it will not click on the sign in button so it has opened the url and it is performed all the actions and it will be not able to locate the but the, locate the particular element that is a sign in button right so this is this is the expected failure right and this is how you can use the record at cursor feature by the playwright automation tool